In this video, we will learn how to take a simple 2D picture like this, which could be the cover page of an ebook or an annual report, and then showcase it in a nice setting like this, and then give it a three dimension like this and showcase the insights. Let me do that again. It could be any kind of a report. The moment you mount it like this and then tease the insights like this, your audience will develop an interest. The best part is this effect is so simple to create that even a rank beginner can do it in no time. So let us jump right in and learn how to create this beautiful effect from scratch. By the way, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We help professionals like you create engaging presentations. Here I am on a new slide. I've got this image, which is the cover page for an ebook. The first thing I'm going to do is to give it a three dimensional image. Now, what can we do to get the three dimensional image? Surprisingly, all it takes is a simple rectangle. Let me show you how easy it is. I have just taken the rectangle and covered the, the bottom half of the slide and let me right click and send it to back and I can give this maybe a light grayish colored background and then say no outline. Now this might not look like much but then the moment I add a bit of a shadow let me first reduce the size a little bit so it really looks pretty accurate. Let me go to shape effects then go to shadow and use this one called as perspective upper left shadow. Now instantly this has become a beautiful three dimensional image. Now let me duplicate this by right clicking on this and then say duplicate slide. Then select the image, right click, go to format picture and go to 3D rotation in the effects option. Go to presets and Choose perspective and the one I'm going to choose is perspective contrasting right and you can see it already looks like a book in a slanted angle. Now let us go to 3D format and add a depth of around 25 points. Now you can see that we have a three dimension given to the book. Now let us move this book to one side so we can create some space here to showcase some details about the book. So let us select the image. Then go to animations and add a simple motion path animation by going to motion paths lines and then go to effect options and say it needs to move to the left. So it has gone to one side. It need not necessarily go to till that far. Make sure that the end point of this is brought a little closer. So when I go to slideshow, this is how it moves. Neat. Now while it moves, I want some details to come here. Let me save you some time and paste the text here and then let us have this introduced with a simple fade animation or it could even be a float in animation. Let us do that float in animation from top so float down and this happens with previous but with a bit of delay. So we are going to increase the delay like so. So the end points match. Perfect. Now we need to do just a couple of things before we can finish this tutorial. The first thing is we need to have this movement, this motion path happen after previous. So let me go here and say this happens after previous. And while this moves, you can see that we have this text coming in as a float in animation. One more thing, which is the final thing, which is to add morph transition. So let us go to transitions and add morph transition to the second slide say morph and then we need not have a duration of two seconds for this. Let us reduce this to say around 0.75 seconds. Go to first slide and let us see our creation. Now this is the first slide. On a click we have a morph transition and then the book moving to one side with motion path animation and the explanation is shown with a simple floating animation. Isn't that beautiful? In our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, which is a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates, you will find a whole bunch of such pre-made animations readily available for you. I will leave a link to this product in the description box below the video. You can click on the link and check out more details. And if you liked this video, then you will really like this other video where I created this beautiful animation that showcases different text elements and it's a very simple 3D animation to create. I will leave a link to this video right here on your screen. You can click on the link and watch this video next. I'll see you inside.